Alright, and uh, welcome back to uh, more Let's Play Liquid Crystal, and uh, this time, I guess, um, I don't know, I think we should uh, take on the Sprout Tower, don't you think? Um, yeah, that seems like a good idea. So, uh, we'll head off to the Sprout Tower, and um, yeah, I, tra I, did, I trained Skylar off-screen a bit, so, yeah. Um, oh. That's why the pillar doesn't move, it's because it stopped shaking. Amazing. Uh, so, we're going to head up here, and here is some random person, and he's going to be like, However hard you battle the towel, stand strong. And he's going to be like, Yarg! And he's going to go, Sage Bob. Sage Bob is going to turn out Brails Sprout. Yeah, his name's Bob. Bob is a sage. So, I'm letting Skylar take the lead here. So... Yeah, should be fun. Uh, just gonna go with Peck. Yeah, it's a shame Skylar has a terrible attacking nature. It has a bold nature, so this should be fun. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with Peck again because that's how I roll. Yeah, like Vine Whip. So I'm gonna go with Peck again, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, and Skylar levels up awfully slowly as well. It's not nice. Anyway, he's gonna set out another bell sprout, and I'm gonna do the same thing as I've done to the other two bell sprouts. I'm gonna be like peck. Hmm. So yeah, he's gonna vine with me again, and I'm gonna peck again, and it's gonna get really, really, really boring and tedious because we're gonna be doing this a lot. Uh. So yeah. Um. He fought too hard. He fought hard, but he was too weak. Because he cannot match type advantages, etc. Because he's a noob. So then there's this guy, and he's gonna be like, "Here we express our gratitude" or something. And I don't know. And he's gonna be like, "Ah, he, this guy's gonna use Bell Sprout as well." Seriously, there's only two enemies in this place: Bell Sprout and Hoot Hoot. I'm not joking. It's I'm serious. Anyway, we're just gonna go through this crap and do the whole peck slash win routine. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, he did something different. He used growth. But it's too late for that. And we're going to peck him to the face. And we're going to win. And he's going to be like, oh no! So I'm going to be like, yay. So, and then he's going to send out another bell sprout. Yay. I love Bell Sprout. No, I don't. I was just being sarcastic. Because sarcasm is fun. Uh, yeah. Um, so down he goes. Um, yeah, level 11. Nice. And only 12 attack because that's how the game likes to screw me over, I guess. Um, yeah. So, we're going to switch Lily Savage up front because that's how I do things. And then we're going to go up these stairs. Yay for stairs. Anyway, over here is an X accuracy which I will never use and I will probably sell it at some point. I don't know. Um, anyway, here's this guy and he's going to like sway like leaves in the wind, young Padawan. And he's going to be like, go Bellsprout. Like we haven't seen that before. Anyway, we're gonna go the Lily Savage and we're gonna be like confusion. I'm gonna be like, yay for these super effective hits and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty win. And my leg is hurting. Ow. Anyway, now that I'm comfortable again, um, we're getting confusion. Yay, confusion. Uh, yeah. So down goes that Bell's route and. Stuff and then he's gonna send out another bell sprout. Yay, bell sprout! And we're gonna confusion again because that's cool. That's gonna be a one hit KO. Yeah, shame Skylar can't one hit KO. Probably because Skylar's a noob. Well, he's not a noob, he just has a crappy nature. It's not his fault, it's the game's fault. And I can't be bothered to go catch another. Bloody, uh, swap do. 
Yeah, anyway, uh, here's this guy, and he's gonna be like, Go, Bellsprout, and I'm gonna be like, No, you, and I'm gonna be like, Go, Lily Savage, and be like, Confusion. Uh, oh, what? I'm switch. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. So we go with Skylar. Um, he gets growth because that's how he rolls. But it's no use. He stands no chance, even with the growth boost. And it only does two damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, kill him and 63 experience both sides. And Lily Savage gets a level up, which is awesome. And yeah. So there's some monies. Um Yeah. Switch Skylar up front just because. And then we're gonna take on the rest of this. Oh, it's another guy and guess I, I I there's only one guess to what he has. Let me guess. It's a bell sprout. Yes. Indeed, it is I, Bellsprout. Yeah. So, we're just going to sit here and we're going to peck it to death. Yay. And, it's so hard to commentate when everything you're fighting is Bellsprout. It gets boring, you know. I'm sure you don't want to sit here and talk, listen to me talking about Bellsprout. Let's talk about something else. Let's. What can I talk about? Um. Yeah. Let's talk about how this is going so far. At the moment, I'm recording this audio. I'm actually. Or I've already beaten Whitney. Yeah. So, I'm actually get. I'm actually going pretty fast. So. Yeah, I'm gonna record more later. I guess probably about another two hours. I'm hoping I'll get to fight Chuck today. Uh, maybe even Jasmine, um, if I'm lucky. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so, going through it pretty fast. Uh, yeah. Oh, this guy has a hoot hoot. How awesome. What else can I talk about? I, what else can I talk about? Um, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So guys, I'm thinking about doing something. Um, I want to know if you'd enjoy it. I was thinking I would do a Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories uh, ATHP playthrough, which basic. If anyone who's played Kingdom Hearts, you get two options. Well, for anyone who hasn't played it, you get two options. When you level up, you get the option A to gain HP or B to gain CP, which is card points, and basically it's playing through the game without upgrading my HP, and that's the idea of a 80 HP run. I was wondering if you'd enjoy that. Um, I've been actually doing a test playthrough on my uh, actual GBA version, my actual copy, and yeah, it's been going pretty well. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of doing that. What do you guys think? I just want to know, um, yeah, so, what, what do you guys think, um, I think it'd be a good idea, it'd be pretty fun, um, but, of course, I don't know, uh, oh, this guy's gonna send out a hoot hoot, how awesome of him, he's using something that isn't a bell sprout, that must be, like, a miracle, a goddamn miracle, uh, so we're just gonna peck it to death because that's the only thing I can really do. And he's probably gonna use a super potion or something, knowing this game. Well, not a super potion. He'll probably use a potion, and I'll probably have to bring him. Yes, a super potion. He'll go back to full health, and I'll have to do this all over again. Fun, fun, fun. Um, yeah. And he gets a critical hit, which is kind of gay. Well, not gay. Yes, gay. I don't know. Because I don't want to, uh... I'm not going to say gay because that's not nice. Especially towards homosexuals, I guess. It's... Horrible. Bad. 
I despise it, and yeah. So we get a level up after that, which is pretty awesome, and yeah. So he's gonna be like you, you and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move, and yeah. Also, because I'm coming up to the end of this segment, I am probably going to go into my bag and use an escape rope because that is how I roll. And yeah, escape rope and. Yeah, we're going to go into this Pokemon Center and do stuff. We're going to heal up our Pokemon. Um, approaching the end of the segment, so I'm going to say the usual comment, rate, subscribe, tell your friends, all that sexy stuff. I will see you guys next time.